Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikarili from Excel Basement and uh, in this video I will tell you one uh, quick technique related to the slicer and uh, how we can hide the slicer in Microsoft Excel. So let's get start. Uh, I have a data and from this data I created a pivot table and uh, if you know that we can add the slicers uh, which uh, create a kind of a visual display and we click on any criteria that will filter our whole pivot table all together so inserting a slicer is very easy uh, going to the any cell of your pivot table you will find two tabs on top right side of your excel application that is the pivot table analyze and the design tab so in the analyze tab you will find out that we have the filter section or the filter group in which you have the insert slicer option so let me just add one slicer first so let me pick for example product name slicer to this pivot and let's say all the product names are you can see that selected now for example if i want to filter uh, this pivot table to a certain product for a specific product that is chocolate so when I click on chocolate, this whole pivot table is now filtered on this product name, which is which is the chocolate. Now I don't need the slicer anymore. And if I delete the slicer, what happens is that my pivot table uh, position goes to the default, which shows all the products. So I will not delete that slicer. I will just hide that slicer. So for hiding that slicer, we need a different technique for doing an Excel. So let me just again insert a slicer which is the product name and uh, now you can see that let me just filter any uh, product which is the chocolate biscuits and um, now i need to hide this slicer okay for hiding the slicer what you can do is go to home tab and um, on the right side of this ribbon you will find one option which is called find and select so click on find and select and in this contextual menu the very last option which is called selection pane click on selection pane and you will get this navigation pane here now you can see that uh, you have a uh, object on your spreadsheet that is the slicer which names this product name and there is a small eye icon is uh, built with this name so you have to click on this small eye icon and when you click on that you can see that your slicer is now invisible on the spreadsheet so this is the quickest way you can hide the slicer on your spreadsheet and when you want it back so you need to again click this uh, dash or the hyphen so the eye icon will be visible and your slicer will be visible again so this is super cool technique to hide these slicers on your spreadsheet one more technique is that for example if i hide certain rows if i select these certain rows and i click on right click on the rows and click hide so my rows gets hidden on the spreadsheet but my slicer does not moves with the uh, rows also so uh, there is one more technique to temporarily hide the slicer is that uh, right click on the slicer and in this contextual menu you have to go uh, size and properties which is the second last option in my case i will click on this and format slicer navigation pane will uh, appear here now in the properties uh, section you have uh, an option which is called move and size with cells so we need to active this so i will click on move and size with cells and now you can see that if i select some rows and i will hide these rows so with the uh, action of the hidden rows you can see that my slicer got invisible too so this is one more technique to temporarily hide the slicer so but i hope you like the first technique which is which was the go to home tab find and select selection pane and just click on this eye to make it visible or invisible thank you so much